Mr. Speaker, thousands of people are obtaining Canadian citizenship by fraud, by lying about how much time they've spent in Canada. The Globe and Mail found 300 people claiming to live at the same address in Mississauga, and Radio Canada exposed a similar scheme going on in Quebec. Will the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration tell us what the government is doing to crack down on those who obtain their Canadian citizenship illegally, even though they live permanently abroad? Great question. Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Thank you, Member, for her question her hard work on these issues. Mr. Speaker, it is true that we see uh, many very troubling criminal investigations into citizenship fraud, sometimes hundreds of people applying for citizenship registered at the same false address. We're taking action on this, Mr. Speaker, to preserve and protect the value and integrity of Canadian citizenship. We will be regulating citizenship consultants. We will be clarifying that uh, residency in, in Canada requires actual physical presence here rather than just a post box. We will be increasing penalties for citizenship fraud to $100,000 or five years in jail, and we will be streamlining the process to revoke citizenship from those who tainted fraudulently, Mr. Speaker. Bravo.